It is really hot in this room. Dear Lord. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is your girl, Eunice, and I want to start off by wishing everyone a happy Juneteenth because after all, that is the name of this video. <laughs> now, by the time this actually uploads, it'll be the day after, hopefully not days, but the day right after Juneteenth. Now, I know some of you guys are going, wait a minute, Juneteenth, is she making this up? No, I am not. Now, to all my non-POCs asking what the heck Juneteenth is, sit back, relax, and I will tell you, Juneteenth is abbreviated for the date, June 19, 1865. It is a very special date in history. It is our 4th of July on this date, June 19, 1865. It is the day where slavery was officially abolished across the US, but more specifically in the South. It's Juneteenth. June 19th is the day in which Union soldiers arrived in Galveston, Texas and announced to the slaves that they were officially free men, women, and children. Now, you may be going, wait a minute, didn't Abe Lincoln, the guy with the tall hat and the beard who was shot, issue the Emancipation Proclamation? Yes, but way back then, you know, before carrier pigeons and Wi-Fi, news traveled mostly by word of mouth, which is why it took three years after the Emancipation Proclamation for the news to actually hit the South and for the slaves to, in fact, gain their freedom. Now, don't get it twisted. June 19th, it's the day that slavery ended. Racism is a different topic. Well, not completely different, but the point is, it is the point in time in which slavery was outlawed across the entire U.S. But all in all, Juneteenth is a day of complete jubilation and reflection of our ancestors as well as the African American experience. It is a day to call to mind all the ways in which, you know, African Americans have contributed to society, to the U.S., whether it be through invention or laws. And speaking of laws, with the help of Al Edwards, an African-American lawmaker, Juneteenth became an actual holiday in Texas by law. So big ups to you, Mr. Al Edwards. So how do you celebrate Juneteenth? Well, like I said before, it is a day of reflection and remembrance. And sadly, it's on a Tuesday, so you know, we can't go out barbecuing. There's always the weekend. <laughs> I mean, you can have your red velvet cake, which, you know, I inhaled mine already. Storytelling is also another way in which this day is celebrated. Strawberry soda or hibiscus tea. And for more information, there's always our good and dear friend, Googleisha. Shout out to Kia from the Getting Grown podcast. But in all honesty, it is a day that not too many people know about. And I wanted to share with you all this special day and this special point in time. Well, that's all from me. Feel free to grab your celebratory drinks and red velvet cake. Eat as many slices as you can from me. And while you are chomping on your delicious barbecue foods and, you know, inhaling your red velvet today or this weekend, I hope you'd consider subscribing giving this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will be sure to see you in the next video. Until next time, bye guys, and happy Juneteenth once more.